it's tone and feel. And it's hard to describe, but, um, I, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the wood they had back then or the, the alloy of the metal that they wrapped the pickups with, but those guitars, like I could be in the studio and I can play a new Fender or a new Gibson and they'll sound real good, you know, and I'll go, okay. Then I'll pick up the old one and it'll be just that much sweeter. The harmonics ring better and it just feels more fluid. I don't know why it is, but it is, you know. Well, I like the ones that are all beat up, you know, like they've been on a hobo train for 20 years, you know, and they get, it's all rubbed out and they feel broken in already. And those, like, I know Tom likes the pristine collector versions and, the, you know, without a scratch. I like the funky ones, you know, and they just sound better and they feel better. I could play an entire gig with any of those guitars if I, if I had to, and last night I almost had to. <laughs> well, last night wasn't the guitar, it was my, my amp rig blew up on the fourth song. It just started going <laughs> And it was so loud, the whole band was looking at me, and I'm telling my brother, get, turn it off, just turn it off, get rid of it. Okay, boss, look. You know, he plugged it back in, no, get rid of it. And he couldn't find the problem, so I said, look, get rid of all the pedals, all those wires. Just plug me into my Princeton, kind of little black Princeton. Just turn that up. Tell the PA guy that it's just the one amp. And he brought it up in the house, it was okay. You know, I didn't need any pedals. The getting back to the guitars, I could do the sh whole show with one guitar, but I used different guitars because certain guitars were recorded on certain songs. Like on I Won't Back Down, I have this Gretsch that I played the slide on. And when I play it on that guitar, it sounds just like the record. You know, when I go to a show, I like to hear it. Like once I heard the animals with the original guitar player and it's like, that's the sound, you know? So I like to, if I can get close to the original recorded sound with, by using a different guitar, I will, because they all have different colors. Or the Rickenbacker 12 string, if you, that only does that sound, that's the only guitar that makes that sound. Some songs we need that on it. And then a Fender's uncertain thing, you know, I'm, I'm pathetic. I love guitars <laughs> and I'm obsessed with all of them, you know.